Hi there, I'm Mayan Shaw with RVMax.us and sitting behind me is a beautiful 2011 Tiffin Allegro Red. This is the 38 model, so this is actually a really easy to drive coach. It's family friendly because it's equipped with bunk beds and four slides, which really opens up the interior. We've also done an upgrade. We've upgraded the floors, but besides that, from the factory, this is a well-built Tiffin bus and has a lot of nice options and features that I'm really excited to talk about today. So let's get started. Starting with the front of this bus, it has a one-piece panoramic windshield. And what the panoramic means is the window is kind of, or the window, one piece up here, kind of curves around the side just a little bit, and it gives you an excellent view out the bus. Now the front of this bus is styled, looks very modern. Being a 2011, it's not too old of a coach. It's almost 10 years, but it does look newer than that in my opinion. Now up top we've got a fiberglass cap, as well as the fiberglass cap in the back which is a little higher end, but a big thing about the front end portion of this coach, or at least it's located in the front end, is this is equipped with an eight kilowatt Onan quiet diesel generator. The standard Allegro open, uh, open road red comes with a six kilowatt. And there's other options we're gonna talk about as we walk through the bus, but let's take a step down the driver's side of the coach. Now we've got about two year old tires on this bus and they're free from any dry rot cracks, they look good, and they're Michelin's all the way around. Now as we step down the side, notice the sunlit paint job. This is called the sunlit uh, finish, or sunlit sand finish from Tiffin. It's sort of a classic Tiffin full body paint, and the silver really glows in the sunlight. That's partially due to the quality of the paint, and that's also partially due to the fact that this is a high gloss gel coat laminated exterior, so you get that shine that you see on the higher end buses. Now all four slide outs come equipped with slide out toppers, which gives you a little extra protection from the rain and they are enclosed in aluminum shrouds when the slides are rolled up, which gives you increased protection from the UV and rain and anything like that. Cause you know, if you imagine fabric with no cover, it's just gonna get rotted out by the sunlight. Now, as we take a step around the back of the coach, we'll point out that this has a 6.7 liter Cummins ISB, producing about 660 foot-pound of torque and 340 horsepower. Now I think it's gonna perform pretty well on the road, that's my suspicion. We are gonna drive the bus later. And my suspicion is due to the fact that the coach's GVWR is only 29,500 pounds, so it's not a super heavy coach like the 40 and 45 footers. Some 45 footers can weigh about 52,000 pounds GVWR, and that's not even, the Prevos are even more. Now this is, you've got a color backup monitor up there. And as we step around the passenger side of the bus, you'll notice, and let me move this golf cart real quick. You notice your two other passenger side slides. Now, I do, do wanna note, this slide here is a lot larger than a normal, you know, opposite the bed rear slide out on a four slide bus. And the reason being, these two windows right here are where your bunk beds are located. So this entire, it's partially a hallway, but the bunks are located here. And this portion back here is in your bedroom. There's of course a partition door there, but this whole thing comes out. It really adds a lot of space in the hallway that you don't normally see, especially on coaches from this era and even the newer ones, because most coaches slide out don't go into the hallway. Now we've got the electric awning package. So both the door awning and patio awning are both electric. The patio awning is actually a one touch. It's a weather pro awning. Now note the classic, of course, Tiffin glass pane in the bottom part of the door. This is a classic Tiffin thing. If you're familiar with the brand, you'll know that. Now down here, we've got an extra wide step. The accessibility is actually really good because it's a very wide entrance and it opens just beyond um, 90 degree or perpendicular or 180, however you want to look at it. So it's actually a really wide entrance step and just provides you with more accessibility. Now you also have side cameras on this coach, which are equipped on both sides on the bottom of the bus are covered in this little chrome plate. Now one thing I kind of forgot to mention, I wanted to go in detail 
on the face of the bus, but I think I'm gonna include that in the upcoming portion of this video, which is the compartment doors in the lower sides of the bus. Before we move on to the compartments, I wanna point out a few things about the roof. This is a one-piece Phylon fiberglass roof, and you'll also notice your two upgraded 15,000 BTU air conditioners that are also heat pumps and ducted with Tiffin's quiet duct system. The roof is in superb condition. So starting on the driver's side compartments in the front of the bus, we've just got a small storage compartment here and your windshield wiper fluid is stored in a little tank on the right. And I love how easily these fuses are, like how easy it is to get to these fuses, as well as the layout. It has a map right here that tells you what each fuse does. It's, it's all numbered out, really straightforward. So if you ever need to check a fuse, if a switch isn't working, and this is all front end stuff, like your power awning, your engine preheat, things like that. So you can quickly check them if you need to. Also check out the seals. You've got seals on this side. They look really good. They're not cracking or anything. And notice how well lit all these compartments are too. Let me make sure this is shut. Yeah, sometimes you gotta get a, give them a good slam. Now right here, we have our battery slide out tray. And this is actually the best design I've seen for a, the release portion of the slide out tray. So let me, let me show you how it works. Or if you get down up in here, you can see there's a pool up in the top left corner of this compartment. So a lot of slide out trays have these really annoying latches in the front and they are a pain in the neck to operate. This one was really straightforward. You just pull it and it's straight, it's, it's so easy. And then it slides out. Now you've got four Duracell six volt batteries that are lined in a series, making 12 volt to, you know, one, one six volt will be in a series with another, making 12 volts. So you've got two sets of 12 volt batteries, essentially. Now you are, they are, the, the date code on them is like five of 19. So they're about a year old and they're still excellent. You've also got a main house side battery cutoff so when you go to store it, you can really easily kill the battery so they won't be drained by any draws. A lot of resistance on this um, air shock. Now right here, we come to our first pass-through storage compartment. This coach has about 155 cubic feet of storage compartment space underneath the, the coach. And that is a good amount of storage space, especially for this size bus. This is a nice, tray that comes out and these are extra pieces from the interior because there's new pieces that are upgraded inside so i think they they upgraded some sliding doors but the old ones are here just in case it's also very well lit in there notice all the lighting it's not often you get to see a coach like this which is family friendly it's it has bunk beds and it's a diesel it's not that long have this kind of quality. You know, not a lot of manufacturers um, are doing this, maybe nowadays with the 2020 coaches, but even then. Th th but back then, this, is, this Tiffin was really a premiere of family camping because it provides you a lot of benefits of having a bus while also being a little shorter and, again, like I said, like three or four times family friendly. friendly. Now, right there is the original satellite dish this coach came with. It actually got an upgraded satellite dish that was on the roof. But the old one is still there. I, and I like the fact that you still have that part, even though satellites are sort of becoming more obsolete and the dish on it, or uh, currently, it, I believe will be able to provide you Wi-Fi so you can plug a router in it, which, which is much more useful, especially nowadays. Now right here we have our plumbing bay. So you've got a soap dispenser, outside shower, you've got your bypass, of course, your city water connection here so you can plug into city pressure at a camp spot so you don't have to use your water pump. Everything is nice and labeled out here, so you can switch that city water to fill your tank if you'd like. The outside shower is very nice, and this is a lot of space down in here, too. Now, those two tubes on the left side are drain points for your hot and cold, and I love the fact that it has the tank flush. The tank flush just allows you to maintain your black tank a whole lot more. And speaking of tanks, this coach has a 90-gallon fresh, ta fresh tank, a 70-gallon gray tank, and a 50 gallon black tank. Now, if you're not familiar with RVs, you may not know, but this is a really good size capacity, especially for a 38 footer. The 70 gallon gray tank is very large as well as the 50 gallon um, black, but all of the tanks are good and they're heated as well. So you just flick a button from the inside and you can heat them, they're insulated as well. Now here we have a, our 50 amp power cord. 
We've got like a felt material going in here, automatic transfer switch up on the left. And here is just another small storage compartment. So you can put oil in here, antifreeze, or any kind of extra spare parts and belts. This would be a good storage spot for them and keep it separate from the rest of your stuff in the, the front of the bus. So right here, we have a compartment leading to the radiator and then our 6.7 liter Cummins ISB. Now it makes about 340 horsepower, but the real number you want to know about is the torque, and it makes about 660 foot-pound of torque. And I think this is going to be a pretty decent matchup, considering it has a 2500 Allison transmission with the six-speed, you know, like the push-button selector in the front. And the GVWR is only about 29,500 pounds, whereas a lot of big coaches weigh about 50,000 pounds, like a 45-footer, for instance. So I think the pairing of this engine with the weight is going to give you a good miles per gallon number. I'm not sure though, I need to verify and I encourage you to verify that as well, as well as a good driving experience. But we'll find out more about that later. The other facts about the rear end here, we've got a 5,000 pound towing capacity down low and up top we have our backup camera which is molded into the rear fiberglass cab. Let's go ahead and move on to the passenger side compartments. Now right here is the very rear compartment on the passenger side of this bus. And this is just a storage compartment similar to the one on the driver's side, except this one is deeper. Also got some electronics here. You've got two solenoids for some electronic systems. You've got a 12 volt disconnect. So one of those solenoids will be for that. Up above, we have, just wanna point that out real quick. We've got our dryer vent. And don't mind the streaks. We've had a lot of rain. Um, hurricane, the, the remnants of Hurricane Sally just came through here um, over the last couple of days. So we've got a lot of rain on this bus. But the good news is no leaks in here. Now on your left, you have your two chassis side Duracell batteries. And on the right, we have another large storage compartment. We're gonna step up here. This can open, it takes a little more work and essentially right behind there is your, all your tanks. Now here is the second pass-through storage compartment, looking at it from the perspective of the passenger side of the bus instead of the driver's side. And you'll note the Dirt Devil central vacuum system that this coach is equipped with. Let me tell you, central vac vacuum systems are very, very convenient. It's a lot better than bringing your own vacuum because it's constantly um, completely hidden bar this little piece down here. And you don't have to sweep it out if you use a broom like I've always used a broom when I go camping. The central vacuum system is so much more convenient as far as keeping your coach clean and dust free as far as on the floors and keeping the dirt out. Now you have our ladder extension, you saw that as well. Here is the front pass-through storage compartment. And this tray can slide out on this side as well. So you just pull this safety lever. This comes out a pretty, pretty sizable amount. It's back in place. We also got power receptacles here, cable, phone, all goods, all kinds of good stuff that you'd want to run, as well as a satellite. So if you wanted to have a tripod out here with a separate dish, you could connect to your satellite from right there. Now, right here we have the propane tank on the left, and on the right is your hydraulic system for the HWH hydraulic leveling jacks this coach is equipped with. Now this has the automatic leveling feature, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. But this is essentially where all the components are and the pump is located for that system. Now right here we have a fill up for its fuel tank. And this is actually um, the, the replicated on the other side. This has a dual fill up system. So you can fill it from either side of the bus and it's a 100 gallon uh, diesel fuel tank. And I think that's going to conclude it, but let's go take a peek at the generator. Slide around to the face of the bus. Now, as mentioned, the standard coach comes with a six kilowatt Onan quiet diesel, whereas this comes with an eight kilowatt or 8,000 watt Conan, uh, Onan quiet diesel, which gives you a lot more power. It gives the 6,000 is going to be uh, stressed out under load, like if you have your two air conditioners on, it's gonna be pretty stressed out then. Imagine trying to run more things on it. The 8,000 gives you a lot more capability. So you've got easy access to it right here. And one thing I totally forgot to mention, and I hope those of you who are interested in this lesson are paying attention right about now. This, ha this coach has recently been serviced. So we've changed the oil, the filters, all that good stuff on both the generator and the engine. So it's freshly serviced and ready to hit the road. So as you step up into the bus, You'll notice that we went ahead and took out the original flooring that was in the entranceway and replaced it with this LVP uh, vinyl plank flooring. And the way our guys did the job on the step well makes it look gorgeous. 
And in the rest of the coach, it really updates how it looks, and it looks a lot better than the old linoleum that these standard coaches came with. We just did it, it cost about three or $4,000, and it's a great upgrade we do to a lot of our, our buses. Now the interior is really expansive. We've got four slides, two of them being in this massive galley slash living space. And I love the fact that you have your TV in the middle here. That's a 42 inch TV, I believe. And it's a Panasonic hooked up to a Panasonic surround sound system. But I prefer the TV there to the front, at least in this situation. If you would imagine a large TV kind of provides or puts an obscurity in the front windshield area, whereas having it here is a little more in the galley area and the recliners kind of turn towards that direction as well. So over to the left on the passenger side of the bus, we'll start with the kitchen. So this has a Corian countertop, a three burner gas stove, and a dual stainless sink. You've also got a sharp convection slash microwave oven up above. And you've got a good bit of storage around here too. Very deep storage right here, bless you. <laughs> That's a sin nowadays. This is another pretty decent sized storage compartment. And I like this material, it's kind of a neat material. You also have a cool artwork piece on the wall right there. And down here you've got a lot of storage there and a place where you can store your leaves. Mint three drawers here, a deep drawer here for maybe pans. You have like a, another drawer here. I mean, I guess, there we go. Slight design flaw, but that's the price you pay because most of these underneath the three burner gas stove are just fake little pieces. But I, I'm honestly really surprised that this is a drawer. I mean, the amount of engineering that got, went into having a stove right above that is pretty amazing. Three more drawers down on the bottom, and I'm kind of covering more of the drawers here. So let me know how you guys like that. I, I figured it's probably an important piece if you're actually gonna be using this coach on the road. You wanna see how much storage it has on the interior as well as the exterior. Now over here we have our four door nor cold refrigerator with a Chick-fil-A cup from earlier in it. That comes free of charge. It also has an ice maker. So here, I'll let you step in here because it's kind of in the hallway area. So that's a pretty sizable refrigerator, especially if you're gonna have a lot of people camping in here. And back there you see a sneak peek of the bunk beds, which we'll talk more about in just a minute. This is our TV mounted in the center. We've got a lot of storage underneath. As well as up above. This is a good bit of storage with that same cool pattern on the material on the outside. Oh, there we go, there's some lights I didn't have on. That drives me nuts when I don't have lights on. There we go. Now in the dining area, we have a dinette. Now this can turn into a bed, but right now it's set up in the dining position. I love these pieces. They're almost like a, almost like a Alcantara material. It's not an Alcantara, but really cool piece that goes around all the windows. Now all of the windows have day and night shades that are activated and used just like this. So you grab one of these strings and there's your day shade, right? And then you pull it back up. These are MCD shades. And honestly, for longevity, these are some of the best shades to have. They last a lot longer than the older standard window shades that you see with the little folding creases in them. And they last a lot longer than electric as well. And all of the windows are equipped with that. Now the front visor is fully electric. So you push a button and that will just come down in the face and cover up the front of the bus, which makes it a lot easier than having to manually do a large one like that. Now in the living space, we have a nice couch right here. Now the fabric material in these couches is just fantastic. As you can see, I mean, it's just super clean. And you see this folds out into a bed as well. All right, here's a quick demonstration of this bed on the driver's side of the coach. So what you do is you put those little arms right there and then lift this out, let the arms go. I've never seen this type of design before. Then you just simply fold this piece back into place. And what you can do here is put an air mattress on this. So I believe this strap right here, so you've got a buckle right here and like a little fabric material you can put over. I believe you can have a rolled up air mattress in there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what this is meant to do. I've never seen this before in a bus. It's made by Flex Steel. 
Now on the front of the coach, not having that TV up there does provide you with a good bit of visibility and a huge one-piece windshield to look out on while you're camping. Now both of these captain and co-pilot chairs have been swiveled, so you can have them facing up this way. And this is a cool design. It's like a race car, right? For the race buckles, you have a little gap for it. It's kind of cool design in there. Now you have another couch right here. In this couch, jackknifes. So you can really sleep a lot of people in this bus if you need to. Now let's take a step back into the sleeping area at the rear of the bus. So as you walk in here, notice this from here all the way back to that compartment where the washer dryer stack is, is a slide out. So this whole bunk bed setup goes out. Now while it's going down the road, this can close up and you still have a hallway to get back to here where this bed is and to your bathroom, of course. Now these are very nice. You've got headphones connected to TVs that you can play movies through for each of these beds. You also have outlets in there and individual lights. Now those doors we saw in the compartment bays of the, co of the coach are actually doors that go on here, so you can put them back on if you'd like. Now to your right, we have our bathroom. And I love the hallway bathroom, the, one, uh, the bathroom that's off the hallway, because people can continue to use the rest of the coach while the bathroom is being used. So it doesn't block you off from enjoying the rest of the bus as you would with a regular center bathroom bus. Now this right here is your shower. It's a pretty spacious shower actually. You've got shampoo and conditioner outlets or containers that are built in and a sunlight. You've also got air conditioning vents in here so you're not cut off from the rest of the, the heating and air conditioning. And these are Corian countertops as well. By the way, all the fans in this bus are electric. So this is push button. These are fantastic fan vents. That's a huge plus that you normally see on really high-end coaches. Of course, this is a high-end coach or a coach manufacturer. This is a Tiffin. By the way, I totally forgot to point it out up here. Here's the other, so you can raise that up. So it's very easy to use and you don't have to reach up there and give yourself a nice arm workout while on vacation. Now in the bedroom area, there is a good bit of space. You have a partition door right there so you can separate yourself from the rest of the coach and the bunk beds, of course. And you also have a Panasonic TV for the back and a whole metric ton of storage capacity. So right here we've got storage, storage, storage down there. It's going to be used as like a mini hamper. And check these drawers out right here. Very large. The mechanisms feel smooth. They don't feel cheap at all. A lot of countertop space up here. You've got like a, I think that's a cable. We're not, that's not cable, I'll take the back. That's for like a phone jack. Power outlets, that's here where your TV is. There's storage over here, and of course this bus is equipped with a washer dryer stack. So this is a huge plus, especially if you plan on taking a lot of people with you or, and or children. And I know this from personal experience, of course. You know, as being a kid, you go through a lot of clothes, you get dirty, I mean, it's crazy. You're on a week, week trip, you gotta bring a bunch of clothes with you. Now your bed is located right here. You've got little storage compartments on each side and a little bit of area to place your phone at night. And you can see the storage is really nice. It's uh, somewhere you can store your wallet, things like that. Individual lights for reading. A lot of storage capacity up top. And let's check out the wardrobe space, which reveals our behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> so if you move this stuff out of the way, you can see how much space you have in this wardrobe space. I mean, very deep, little platform there, and there's another light that I meant to turn on. There we go, it turns on automatically, wow. That's pretty cool, look at that. This makes contact, that's cool. So it's got an automatic light here. Some, there's a breakup panel as well. Now there is a little crack right here in the mirror. It is what it is, this is a nine year old bus, so it's not gonna be perfect, and that can happen. If you forget to latch this in place and it slams against the, against the side, that can happen. It's pretty common. Now let's step back in the front. One last thing I want to point out is I haven't mentioned it too much. I think I mentioned it a little bit in the roof portion of this video. But you do have the quiet duct system from Tiffin. So you have an intake on this side with a filter and an output right here. So this quiets down the intake noise that you would have if a coach just had a standard intake panel just sitting here also looks a lot better. 
Now, another thing that we have, and I mentioned this a couple times, but I want to reiterate how important it is, the combination of that eight kilowatt generator with the two 15,000 BTU air conditioners is going to provide you with a lot more air conditioning power during the summertime when it's really hot, especially if you have a lot of people in here, you want to have that higher air conditioner output. They also double as heat pumps. So during the winter, if it's not too cold, you can run them and heat your bus without having to burn any propane, which can make it a lot more efficient and economical in the long run. I think we've covered the interior decently well. This is by no, ne no means comprehensive, but the interior is in excellent condition. The upgraded floors look excellent and the features it has makes it a really comfortable bus and completely forget that it's a 38 footer and not a 40 footer a little longer because of the amount of people you can sleep um, and comfortably. That's gonna conclude this part. Let's go move on and take a peek at some other features about this bus. And eventually, like I mentioned a few times before already, we're gonna take it on a test drive and uh, see how fast it is in a straight line. I'm just kidding, that's not really important, but uh, we'll talk about how it feels. As we look at the cockpit area, I want to point out the fact that this bus is equipped with an inverter. So this will be able to turn your coach batteries into 110 power and power up your microwave, TVs, and all your power, so power outlets. It's a really nice feature, especially going down the road. Now these are slide out controls, your hot water heater for the electric and gas, tank sensor, it's a touch sensor. You can check all your battery, your black, gray, fresh tank, propane tank. And down in the cockpit area, We've got a nice setup here. I love these newer Freightliner dials. They're just beautiful. Over to the left, we have, thank the heavens, a good dial, not the old 70s GM uh, headlight stock that you see on older buses. Right here, we've got electric visor control. So like I mentioned, this is an electric visor. By the way, look at that view. Isn't that a, that is a fantastic view out of the front of this bus. So you've got the sun visor, that can come down all electric and the uh, blackout nightshade that can come down as well. And I love the fact that you can operate these with the coach running. A lot of newer buses with the stupid safety features don't let you do that. You have your horn here. So it's got a pretty nice horn. I don't want to use it right now, but it does have a good air horn. Your auxiliary start, engine brake control. You got auxiliary fans up here. Map light, of course, radio, standard stuff. This is your emergency brake, six-speed Allison transmission control, and then your HWH computerized leveling device right here. This is how you control and level the bus. You can also dump the airbags, which I love the fact that you can manually dump it. That's about it. Gen start, air conditioner blows, the dash AC blows cold. You got two power supplies, your camera system, and your radio right over there. So nice cup holder setup too. Excellent cup holders. You got cup holders here, over there for the passenger. A lot of drawers here to have to get a good bit of storage. Convenient little area there. But anyways, let's go get on the test drive. So we're on the test drive now. And my initial thoughts are, uh, the power is actually surprising, you know, because on paper, the 340 horsepower does not look like a lot, but like I mentioned earlier, my suspicions are kind of true because the GVWR is not, so I'm gonna adjust that, is not super heavy. It does have plenty of power for what it is. I mean, this is not a 600 horsepower Cummins, but 45, 50, we're getting on a flat surface here, 55 miles an hour, I've got it matted, we're at 60 miles an hour, and we're now at 65. So it's got adequate power, more than I was expecting. And again, I think that's due to that GVWR. The, the torque and power are pretty solid in this on this, this 6.7 liter ISB Cummins, but the GVWR is really what allows this thing to scamper across the road. The, the ride comfort is great. I've driven this back and forth from my house a couple times, um, just getting different shots and stuff like that. And I've just noticed the ride quality, it just kind of floats. 
I don't know if you've noticed that as a passenger, but we've ridden through some crappy roads and you kind of feel it float a little bit more than another chassis would. And I mean, look, it's a diesel with airbag chassis, full air brakes. We've got an ex exhaust brake. The exhaust brake is terrific. It's a single stage, so you click it on and it's a medium to high, I would say, or medium exhaust brake. I haven't touched the exhaust, I mean the brakes yet. It's an excellent, excellent supplement to your braking system and a huge must if you plan on towing. Now I do have to say the engine is very quiet. You can almost barely hear it coming from up here. I mean, you, you hear it, but it's, it's much quieter and more subdued than other, other RVs I've driven. You know, especially like a, a Monaco with a 400, those tend to be pretty loud. This is really quiet. I mean, this is floored. It's at 25, 2600 RPM right now, 2500. And it's really quiet. I mean, that's this is floored. So yeah, very quiet driving experience. The wind noise is excellent. There's almost no wind noise. I mean, there's a little bit once you get up to highway speeds. Right now, there's really no wind noise. The only noise in here is just the kind of rattling and stuff from some a microwave and the stove and things like that. But it's very easy to drive. Very easy to drive. That is for sure. And you've got the stability of a diesel. And the 6.7 is a more efficient diesel. Don't forget that. You know, if you have a, a big 11 liter Cummins, it's not going to be as efficient. Unless you're, you know, the only way a, a bigger diesel is more efficient is if you're towing a lot. That's when a bigger diesel is going to be strained less. But if 5,000 pounds, if you're under that, which is what 99% of flat tow vehicles are, you will be just fine. You won't even feel it back there. Exhaust brake is terrific. The steering is great. I love the dials. And these chairs are very comfortable too. I'm, I'm sitting, this, the chair is perfect. It's right in between being upright and kind of in tune with what's going on and also sort of a laid back comfort lazy boy chair. It's not either one, it's sort of in between. In the driving perspective, wow. The panoramic windshield is excellent. I have a great view out of the front of this bus. It's a massive window. And it just feels great sitting up in here. And the visibility is excellent. I think that's gonna conclude the test drive. There's not much else to say. It's a very comfortable driving experience, excellent for your passengers. It's stable at high speeds. The cruise control is great. You know, there's uh, the power is adequate. It's easy to drive. The ex exhaust brake is very nice and the view out the front is fantastic. So all around, it's a great driving experience. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in this bus, please give me a call or text at 864-376-5600. And I put that in the description as well so you don't have to hear me and jot it down. Overall, it's a beautiful bus and it'll sell fast.